Hello, good morning everybody and time check. Feel uh US right now in Arizona it's I think around eight o'clock in the morning and we've been busy, we've been washing the plates and our maids are here and it's totally chaos and it's just too much going on and uh, yeah. Um we are really like progressing for uh, retirement to Philippines and uh, yeah. seems like so I had my coffee and I have my breakfast and things are like crazy inside so this is our you know this is our thing now our outside and it's all clean and blue. I remember planting those blue, blue plants. And yeah, that's amazing. We have really chaos inside. <laughs> yeah, Sophia right now is sleeping. Um, oh, we're getting there we're getting there I'm just really like because I love this place we planted a lot of stuff and decorated the garden now we're just we're we're moving on like we're moving to Philippines I can't believe that this is happening Okay, the reasons we're moving to Philippines is one is because my mom she's getting old and she needs someone there uh, to take care of her and, and um, number two uh, it's very affordable to to um, do some business and stuff like that uh, real estate and you know flip some houses fix them and then sell them and kind of thing like that and we just and why is it cheap it's it's because everything is for us in our in our um it's it, it um for uh you know like middle kind of low level kind of middle sort of kind of thing um uh income uh, i think we can really afford it especially um the tuition fees for school for Sophia and stuff like that if she wants to be a doctor and we can we can uh, afford that but here in states oh my gosh a hundred K it's not even I think uh, that's just for only an annual tuition fees it's not like total but I think if you have five million it's a whole tuition fees to be a doctor uh, in degree in you know those so you know what I mean it's just one of those things that that um, we are trying to do is to make sure that Sophia she have a good education and we can afford what she wants to courses that she's going to take when she grow up so it's one of those things and um, hmm. and it's a lot of things to do there too I mean uh, it's because there's a 7,107 uh, islands and uh, you know in our um, uh, Resorts in Pangasinan we can just build that up and we can do some uh, uh, What color this? Uh, it's uh, a small, you know, like small getaway when we are like overwhelm in a city and we want to just like a province area so so those are the things that um, and oh yeah one more thing medical medicine it's super affordable in Philippines and yeah there's a lot of things there's a disadvantage and advantage living in um, in US and living in Philippines but at the moment we are really like um my husband really want to dream uh, he's really uh wishing and dreaming to retire in philippines because it's 
is it's it's not just the everyday living it's because it's healthy you know what i mean um when i was there instead of eating burgers we just order something healthier you know what i mean something like vegetables and uh, something like low carbs and stuff like that the only thing that doesn't have in Philippines is um, probably a good steak, you know. But the seafoods are everywhere and very affordable too. For let's say four dollars for a pound of shrimps, like prawns and stuff like that, that's that's two hundred something. And sometimes the different pricing is like three hundred, but it's still for us it's very affordable if you wanna like uh, have that kind of you know uh, appetizing food kind of thing like that but here it's just a pound and uh, it's all, almost like uh, 60 70 dollars or something like that so yeah. but if you want to do it like you can do it like every every time you know like there's no limit kind of thing yeah so yeah. And it's also more in there because the amount that you're buying here, it's 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 not as much as you know what I mean. It's it, it, the food are very expensive here. Yeah. But anyway, it's because we live here in in Philippines for I mean in US for maybe since 2005, and before that we moved in. You know we were in korea for five years and it's just really nice to do something like different like oriental kind of uh beautiful temperature and uh, summery kind of like tired being cold i don't want being cold anymore i want something like hot and warm especially in the morning if you want to have a cup of coffee kind of thing like that. So, here it's it's not humid but more like uh, the temperature it's 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 really like you're in an oven or something it's no humid at all it's just hot it's it's all depends what other i mean i'm not saying america is a bad place to live but the thing it's it's also a good place for those who can afford it you know what i mean yeah so that's uh, my update and that's what i think and this the the opinion i what i'm saying is just regarding on uh what comparing what is cheaper and what is more not you know kind of thing like that it's it's just my opinion yeah so anyway you guys it's hot in here thank you Thank you for watching. Love you. Yeah, so I need my coffee time. <laughs> I gotta sit here for a while while Sophia's um, um, sleeping. Alright guys, love you.